Gentlemen, it is my pleasure at this time to turn the microphone over to the voice of Northeast Wrestling, Kurt Adonis. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest set for one fall is for the Northeast Wrestling Championship. There you see Spencer Slade with Justin Labar. Fear the gear indeed. And there are a lot of men that Spencer Slade can defeat just by sending him a glance from across the dressing room. But the man he's going up against is one of the hardest strikers in professional wrestling. And that is Dan Mop, the Northeast Wrestling heavyweight champion, a title that Dan Moff won in January of 2020, defeating AEW's Darby Allen. Dan Moff won half of the uh, famous Hit Squad, an ROH original. Spencer Slade has an amateur background that is second to none. And a man that Justin Labar has primed and ready for big things. And we can see that here tonight with the Northeast Wrestling Championship changing hands. And there he is, Dan Moff, I mentioned, an ROH original, a hard hitter. Spencer Slade has been in there with some men that can lay lumber, but maybe nobody does it like Dan Moff does. Now he will have to be cognizant of Justin Labar, good personal friend of mine, by the way, Justin Labar, who is gonna have no problem putting his two cents into this. But Moff is always focused. He's always got a plan. And it's gonna be a very interesting difference in style. Spencer Slade will tie you up in knots. Moff will knock you out. Ladies and gentlemen, when the bell rings, the man in charge, Northeast Wrestling senior official, Kevin Quinn. Introducing first, the challenger. In the corner to my left, he is accompanied by his manager, Justin Labar. He is from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. He is the submission specialist, Spencer Slade. In the corner to my right, comes to us from Payo, New Jersey. 300 pounds of the Northeast Wrestling Champion. He is the Bayonne Badass, Denny Moore.
and here we go. We're going to get this thing started. And it's going to be very interesting, as I mentioned, as I'm rejoined by Kurt Adonis. It's going to be very interesting to see this contrast of styles. Spencer Slade has that amateur background, and Moff's just a fighter. Moff is got a strength. He has got a superhuman strength. Spencer Slade, I know, is a freak athlete. Look at him. He is a part of Team Labar. And he is an athlete's athlete, but Danny Moff has been in this game a very long time and is probably the most dominant Northeast Wrestling Champion ever. You know, you think of, of the early 2000s and you think about the independent wrestling scene and Moff was always in those big matchups, always on the marquee. And, and well, right there, he just got jumped by Spencer Slade and Slade laying in those kicks and fists in the corner. Well, that's not gonna offend Moff very much. Moff, not his first time getting a fist to the face and certainly won't be his last. Yeah, no doubt about it. I don't know if you want to go this route if you're Spencer, but he has no problem playing somebody else's game. Well, He's, he just excels. Well, since Danny Moff choked out AEW superstar Darby Allen to win the championship, and wow, Spencer Slade just got introduced to the hand, the back of the hand of the Bayonne battle, Danny Moff. And, you know, I don't know if Spencer Slade has taken on anyone like Danny Moff before. There's just not too many men on this planet that are like Danny Moff, let alone in the wrestling industry. I will answer that question for you. No, there is only one Danny Moff. And wow, clothesline out of the field. Danny Moff is not going to play games. Danny Moff is not going to pose. Danny Moff is going to fight, fight, fight. And that includes vicious chops in the corner. And also a, a toss into the corner and whoo, big backdrop landing on his tailbone. And that was very similar to what ended my career. And Spencer Slade right now is in trouble. His legs might be numb. His legs may be having pain shoot down them. That is a very unnatural position to land. Yeah, and that floor right there is what is actually under the ice of a hockey game. So there's there's no give. You don't really have a lot of the wiggle room, if you will. Well, Justin Labar better get his man back in the ring as quickly as possible because right now, Danny Moff is chopping and raking, and all oh, that is just brutal. Spencer Slade better come up with a better game plan than punching Danny Moff in the face because Danny Moff will take that all night and keep delivering punishment just like this. Well, yeah, Spencer's going to have to adapt. Certainly something that he has no problem doing, but he also got to get a moment to think, and that's not what Danny Moff is going to let him do. Well, Spencer Slade's rocking the pink and black today, but he's going to be black and blue by the end of this match. And now Labar encouraging his man to stay on him, and he may have found his opening. Senior referee Kevin Quinn. Now, he is a referee's referee. He is going to call this down the middle, but he is not going to let Spencer Slade bend or break the rules. Well, I'll tell you, there, there is a little bit of pride here. If Spencer Slade is able to bring that championship home to, to his home, to my home of IWC. There is a little bit of competitive nature here, if, if I'm being completely honest. Well, I know the locker room has been a uh, tension. Like you said, a tension in the air. Spencer Slade has the opportunity tonight to rock the future of Northeast Wrestling, and he's got a very good chance, and I'm not even going to call it an upset, to get the win tonight. And you know, there's another contingent, I'm sure, that is going to love to see Danny Moff just lay the punishment into Spencer Slade. Certainly, Slade and Labar. Oh, geez, a well, low I, super kick there to Spencer. Labar better get him out of the corner and get him out of the corner quick. Danny Moff right now is going to get this crowd behind him and he is going to rain down terror upon Spencer Slade. Oh, Rasta, well, you could do better than that. Here we go. Well, Danny wait a minute. Moff. Cannonball! Clear the deck. Cannonball coming right into Spencer Slade. Wait. Spencer Slade out of the two, but that was a desperation kick out between the chops, between the cannonball. He is caving his chest in, and he is having difficulty breathing. 
Yeah, it's going to be a very tender. Caught the foot there. Oh, brutality. Educated feet of Danny Moff, and he's going for the cover. You know, when I said earlier about Danny Moff will just fight you, he doesn't have to just punch you. He will kick you. He will drop you. He will hurt you. Wow, big break right there by Spencer Slade. Dropping the jaw, but it really didn't affect Danny Moff as he throws him over the top. Tried to skin the cat, but Danny Moff said, no, no, no. And Danny Moff said, I know that game. I've seen that before. Spencer Slade is being overmatched and dominated. I have to tell it like it is. Danny Moff right now is showing confidence. Danny Moff is fired up. Danny Moff right now is putting on a show. Oh, and Spencer Slade cut him off. Oh, and a DDT. BC Steel, Danny Moff took his eye off the ball. Danny Moff forgot what his game plan was, and Spencer Slade, with the help of Justin Labar, just took over. Yeah, and I'm gonna agree with you, Spencer Slade was being dominated, something that he's not accustomed to, but he was able to take advantage, take control there, as he usually does. 300 pounds of Danny Moff just landed on his neck. You can see right now, Danny Moff, he is disoriented. He is having trouble acclimating himself to his environment and it's not being helped with those big right hands from Spencer Slade. Yeah, this is where Spencer Slade measures you and nails those shots exactly where he wants them to be. Danny Moff fighting back. Danny Moff is no stranger to adversity. Recently, he just shed a lot of blood in an epic battle with Mr. Northeast Wrestling, Brian Anthony. Spencer Slade right now, going for the cover, not wasting any time. Kevin Quinn got two on that one. See, now this is where Labar, right now, BC, he needs to be telling his man, right now, get on him, seize the moment. Seize the moment. He's a Division I athlete. He knows what the big time is all about, and this is a smart, smart move. Spencer Slade could have done anything. He could have gone to football. He could have gone to baseball. Actually, a track star as well. He could have gone the amateur wrestling route. He said, pro wrestling is where my heart is. It's going to wear where I make a name for myself, where I make my money. And aligning himself with Justin Labar was a very, very smart thing to do for a young competitor, especially a talent like Spencer Slade. Well, the Northeast Wrestling Championship lineage goes back to the likes of Bam Bam Bigelow. I mentioned Cody Rhodes earlier, Mike Bennett, Matt Taven, Brian Anthony, Xavier, so many, many, many more. And right now, oh, he may regret that one later. Bookmark this moment. He may regret that later. Well, yeah, you don't want to anger Danny him off. I mean, do not poke the bear, Spencer Slade. Come on, Labar. You're better than this. Have your man concentrate. He wants to put his name in the same lineage as Cody Rhodes. Danny Moff is not going to just give up and lose the championship in Pennsylvania right now. He is dominated. He has beaten every competitor that stood in his way. But you can tell his neck, his neck, BC, his neck. Yeah, from that DDT, we saw a different Danny Moff in that ring. He is still disoriented. And both. Danny Moff tries for a big shot, but a neck breaker by Spencer Slade. Able to duck that haymaker. Danny Moff kicked out. He was swinging at ghosts there. Look at the eyes. He is disoriented. He is not sure where he is right now. He, he, sometimes you go on autopilot. You know the lights are on, but nobody's home. And I think that's what we're seeing with Danny Moff right now. Kevin Quinn should get in there and take a closer look at his eyes. Well, yeah, you could just see that. There's nobody in the driver's seat right now. And Spencer Slade, not only browbeating him, which I, I hate to question the strategy, but that's not what you want to do. Spencer Slade was brilliant earlier. When he hooked the chin lock on him, he should not be throwing and exchanging punches with Danny Moff. Yeah, you know, Danny Moff, one of the few men in, in wrestling who can actually restart uh, a stopped heart just with those chops. Well, he, he can also make it skip a few beats, too, That's and I think true. Spencer Slade's finding out that right now. 
Oh, they just get harder and harder each chop. He knocks the wind out of him by hitting him in the back of the lungs, then follows through with a knife edge chop to the front of the chest, knocking the wind both sides out of Spencer Slade. Yeah, Spencer Slade able to get those hands. Oh, reverse. Oh, well, flatliner, but the turnbuckle was there. Power to pull Danny Moff down. Cutter! He hit the cutter out of nowhere! Danny Moss gonna retain. Whoa! Spencer Slade just flew into the cutter. Danny Moff can hit that from anywhere. I cannot believe Kevin Quinn's hand did not hit that canvas three times. Spencer Slade, that had to have been instinct. Well, oh yeah, Spencer Slade certainly knows where he is at all times. Certainly have to uh, to respect Labar out there as well. Spencer having a Slade second set of eyes. Looking at the chest right now, feeling his chest, feeling that it's raw meat. That is going to hurt so bad later. And look at the intensity right now. Spencer Slade saying, bring it on. And Danny Moff, he will bring it. Oh, hard right hand, this is a mistake. Spencer Slade dug deep for that right hand. Danny Moff's going to return fire. Those jabs, again, you don't want to you don't want to exchange the jabs with Danny Moff. Justin LaBar needs to get him to change his game plan and get him to change it quickly. Well, you know, a jab, it's really, really hard to stop. Even if you know when it's coming, a guy can shift his punch half an inch, and it just nails you, just as we saw there. He just slapped him across the face. It was met with a headbutt and then a knee. Wow, it, that clothesline just took Danny Moff off his feet. You can probably count on one hand the number of times you've seen that. Wait a I've minute, I've never seen it. Moff kicked out at two. I'm gonna tell you, BC. Spencer Slade, it took him two, three seconds to make that pinfall. If he had gotten over there immediately, he could have pinned him. I have no, he did nothing wrong. He just was not physically capable of getting there. Yeah, you know, he was. He did the smart thing. He was able to trap both legs in a sense. Oh, wait a minute, he's taking Danny Moff up. Power, power. That's right in the corner, but stop. Spear. Oh my God. Oh, he just speared him out of his boots. That is it. The Bayonne Badass is ready to put away the challenger. The lights are back on, BC. Danny Moff knows exactly where he is right now. What? Big time, big match. Danny Moff is going for the burning hammer. Well, there's step one, getting him up. Oh, wait a minute, Spencer go. Oh, Spencer's going for that ankle lock. There's that submission amateur background. He got him in the neck. He got him in the neck. And now he's got the ankle lock. Oh, my God, brilliant, brilliant. Moff trying to get out of this situation as quickly as possible. Yeah, and credit to Moff. But I'll tell you, this wouldn't be the first title to change hands in this place due to an ankle lock. He's gonna have to break the ankle. Uh-oh, uh-oh, don't give him your back. Choke, he's got the rear naked choke. He has choked out Darby Allen with this move. Ron Zombie, Brian Anthony, and Spencer Slade got out. That's athleticism right there. Yeah, that, that, oh, oh no, he got it again. He got it again, Labar, right Labar's up. It. Well, Labar is saying no, sir. Labar, brilliant, distracting the referee. Turn around, Kevin Quinn. Turn around. Turn around. What? Oh, Labar, Labar, run. Uh -oh. Labar, run. Pay your insurance. No. Oh my God. Call 911. Call the police. Call the National Guard. It's a good thing Justin Labar is wearing dark pants right now because Danny Moff is just going to scare the you know what out of him. Look out! Well, that takes care of Justin Labar, and he's got him up for the burning hammer. And down he goes. One, two, three. Here's your winner, and still Northeast Wrestling Champion, the Bayonne Badass, Danny Moore. Well, Danny Moff still your Northeast Wrestling Champion. We're gonna have to get a, a maybe a priest or, or a corner for Justin Labar. He spilled to the outside.